Users who own electric or hybrid vehicles should be prepared to pay more the next time you head to the BMV. NDOT says yearly registration fees for EVs and hybrids are going up to help offset gas tax dollars going down. Yes, Hannah Adamson reports local road projects will most likely benefit from the change, but the same cannot be said for state road projects. Since 2016, 600 Indiana municipalities have benefited from the Community Crossings Program, a matching grant program designed to help communities repair local roads and bridges. However, some lawmakers say because of how that program is funded, that could spell trouble for INDOT's budget down the line. This year, gas tax dollars accounted for roughly 80% of INDOT's revenue and nearly 60% of dollars for the Community Crossings Program. However, with an anticipated decrease in gasoline consumption nationwide starting in 2025, Indiana lawmakers are pushing to reform the road funding formula. If we see a 4 to 5 percent decrease, we'll see a 4 to 5 percent decrease in that community crossings fund, along with our INDOT funding, too. We are almost 100 percent reliant on gasoline use tax and sales taxes, and that is not sustainable. In anticipation of fewer gas tax dollars, yearly registration fees for electric vehicles will increase increase from $150 to $221. For hybrids, that number will jump from $50 a year to $74 a year. With all money going towards the Community Crossings program, something INDOT officials say could cause, quote, erosion of state funds. We're realizing that, you know, adjustments will likely be needed. Now what those are, um, you know, to be determined. We need to balance the priority between the community crossings program and the other accounts that fund local and state uh, infrastructure needs. Now, at an earlier legislative committee hearing this year, INDOT officials said the department could face up to a billion dollar shortfall by 2040 if nothing changes. Now, that same legislative committee on Wednesday did not produce any recommendations. However, they said they will continue the conversation, hoping to draft recommendations by the next budget session. Reporting at the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson.